guys! Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this adorable cupcake squishy from the movie Trolls. So it's really slow rising and scented like vanilla, so it smells like an actual vanilla cupcake which I think is super cool and I'm really excited to show you all how to make it so without further ado, let's just get started! First I'm going to make the cupcake base, so I'm cutting a piece of foam, and I'm using memory foam by the way, into a rough circular shape. And then I'm going to cut inwards sort of at a slant since one end of the cupcake base needs to be smaller than the other end. And since the cupcake base is a little tall right now, I'm going to cut it down so it's a bit shorter. And then I'm just going to continue trimming the foam until it has a smooth surface. Once I'm happy with the cupcake base, I'm going to use it to size how big the top of the cupcake should be. So I'm going to take another piece of memory foam and cut it into a circle. And then I'm going to start rounding off the edges. And the shape that you want to achieve is basically a rounded dome. And don't forget to round off the bottom edge. So now that the top portion is complete, I can see whether it's proportional to the cupcake base. And you can definitely see how everything is starting to come together. But there's still one more element to go, and that is the cherry on top. So I'm taking a scrap piece of foam and trimming it until I get a super round shape. And here is the finished shape, and again, I'm just placing it onto the cupcake to confirm whether it's the right size, and I think everything looks pretty good, so I'm going to move on to painting everything. So the type of paint I'm using is puffy paint, also known as dimensional fabric paint. So to paint the cupcake base, I'm going to mix red and white until I achieve a hot pink color, and I'm just using a toothpick as my mixing tool but you can use a popsicle stick or a paintbrush if you'd like. And to apply the paint to the foam, I recommend wearing gloves to stop the puffy paint from getting on your hands. To paint the cupcake top, I'm going to use the leftover paint and add some more white in order to achieve a lighter, more pastel pink. And this is just going to be the first coat of paint, by the way. Now to stick the two pieces together, I'm going to actually use the rest of the puffy paint and just spread it onto the cupcake base. And puffy paint actually works really well as a glue, but of course you can use regular glue if you'd like to. And I'm just going to carefully position it in the center. So once I've done that, I'm going to paint the second layer onto the cupcake top, and I'm adding this vanilla fragrance oil. And this stuff is really strong, and in fact, four drops is a little much, so you really only need a couple of drops for the scent to come through. Now, while the paint is still wet, I'm going to add this sparkly iridescent glitter all over the top of the cupcake. After that, I'm simply going to paint the cherry red. So this cupcake has dried for several hours, and now I'm going to add the icing detail. So I'm mixing some green, dark blue, and white paint together to create a nice turquoise shade.
and I'm just going to add it on top and basically make a flower shape with six petals and in this case a toothpick works really well for fine details. And finally, before the paint dries, I'm going to add the cherry on top. So here is the finished vanilla scented cupcake squishy, inspired by trolls, and it's so slow rising and fun to squish, so I hope you all can give this DIY a try, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to DreamWorks TV for more great videos. Bye!